Hi guys, I'm Dave. Welcome to Beer Virtually. Today we have a beer from Lagunitas. This beer is kind of hard to get. Um, it was for me anyway. I had to call a bunch of places and I think it was a fairly limited release. Uh, so today we have the Lagunitas Willetized Coffee Stout. So what this means is the Willetized part is some of you may or may not have heard of Willet bourbon and rye. So this is Lagunitas' coffee stout that's been aged in Willet's rye whiskey barrels. Um, I have tasted this before. It is good. It is very good. Uh, so we are going to review it today and uh, see what you guys think. I have the thermo pen out here because I want to make sure I drink it warm enough. This has been sitting out for a little bit, and this is an uh, unrefrigerated snifter. Pours very dark, little to no head, just a creaminess on top. Oh man, that smell. Very whiskey barrel-ish, very bourbon barrel-ish the oak, and hints of coffee from the stout. Oh, delicious first sip. It hits your mouth in so much flavor. This has a hint of that syrupiness from, from the I'm not sure what causes that, but I notice it a lot in barrel-aged beers. We are drinking this at 54 degrees, which is my target, which is perfect. What to say about this? There's actually some lacing. I'm kind of surprised. There's a little bit of lacing um, from this beer. Let's see what stats we have on this beer. This is the 2017 release, and they've done a number of these. They've done uh, a High West, which is another bourbon brand. They've done a High West coffee stout. They've done a Wiltage coffee stout. They've done a couple other different ones. This is 12.6%. So these will these will creep up on you quick. I mean, that's as much as probably an average wine. Uh, 32 IBUs, which I would say is fairly accurate. It's uh, a little on the sweet side, but not too sweet. And it's and it's not bitter, but there there's like a hint of maybe bitter coffee just at the end. I'm trying not to drink it too fast. It's so good. And the smells. You really get that oaky bourbon barrel smell, even though it's a rye barrel. So I'm a, I'm a very big fan of ryes, um, and I like bourbons that have a high rye content, like uh, Bullet Bourbon has a high rye content. Breckenridge Bourbon, which I've mentioned once or two times on the channel, has a high rye content. And I, I like the higher rye content bourbons, and I, and I like ryes. Um, I got this for eleven ninety nine a six pack, which I thought was a pretty good deal considering how hard it was to find. Uh, Lagunitas has brewing facilities in California and uh, in in uh, Chicago, Illinois. I don't know what I mean. What more to say about this? this is such a it's just a really good, and it's more of just a barrel-aged stout. The, the, the coffee is not very forward in this, in this beer. But it has that almost musty smell I've talked about a few times. Very similar to the Bourbon County barrel-aged barley wine. Almost like a 
like a loam, uh, like a mossy, outdoorsy, wet smell. None of those terms sound very appetizing, but uh, I can assure you it is quite tasty. Nothing too special about the label. It's very, very Lagunitas. They've had, uh, this is very much their standard simple label. This is part of the 2017 One Hitter series, and I believe there's six or seven beers in that series. This is the only one that I've been fortunate enough to have. Um, I haven't even seen any of the other ones other than online. Uh, I'll put a picture up of, uh, of the other beers that are in the series. Petaluma, California and Chicago, Illinois. For a rye barrel aged coffee stout, it's not quite as complex as I would have expected. It has a level of complexity, but not, not quite as complex. That being said, I'm still going to have to rate this beer pretty high. I'm going to go with I'm between a four and a four and a quarter. And I think I'm gonna go, man. I'm trying to think other beers I can, I can compare it to. If you try to compare this to like the Bell's Black Note Stout, it's definitely not as good as the Bell's Black Note Stout. And I do find it kind of interesting that they, that they call out what brand as a marketing thing probably more than anything what brand of bourbon barrels or rye barrels in this case that they're using and i don't really know if that that granularity comes through in the beer like i don't think i could take it taste a difference whether it was willitai's barrels or whether it was pappy van winkle barrels i really don't think i could uh i could tell the difference Noisy cat. This is Doodle. You've seen her in the background sometimes. Uh-oh. You don't want any of that, Doodle. You know, it would be... If, so, if someone like Pappy, I'm sure their barrels are sought after for, for reasons like this. You know what I would like to have? I'd like to have a cold brew coffee that's been aged in bourbon barrels uh similar to the um the first beer i reviewed on the channel was the cigar city uh bear le calf and that, and that was uh cold expressed coffee or something like that that had been rested in jameson barrels which i don't really know what that means i mean i'm thinking that it was just kind of put in and taken out of the barrel so it has just a hint of the and Jameson's not a very complex uh, whiskey compared to some of the other ones. I mean, I think this beer is more complex than Jameson. Oh man, that is tasty. And this is, I wouldn't drink it any colder than this. I'm drinking it at 54. Right now it's up to 55, 56. I wouldn't drink it any, any colder than this. 54, 53 is a good place to start. I, I think you just stifle too many of the flavors if you go much colder than this. I will say one caveat with this beer is I've had a couple, I bought a six pack and I've had a couple before I, I did this review here on camera and not not today, but over the past week or so. And every time I've had one, 20 minutes later, I'm ready for a nap. Something about, I mean, it could be 12.6%, but something about this beer has really hit me hard um, the last couple times I've had it. That's not stopping me. Man, there's such a... There's definitely an alcohol 
smell. Not a boozy smell, like it definitely an alcohol smell. But you get all that. This is what I like about drinking out of a snifter. So the, the, the bulb of the sifter really collects the smells at the top. I mean, you put your nose in the top and it's like, it's like the satellite dish of scent that's being directed toward the collector. A beer like this might even go good with a cigar. It's complex enough to, to I think, like, uh, tobacco flavors really add to it. You know, and that's not something that really comes through much in beers, is the tobacco flavor. In a lot of whiskeys, uh, bourbons especially, you definitely get tobacco and leather as um, scents or, or in, a, in a, you know, anything you smell you can kind of taste. So you definitely get like tobacco and leather scents and smells. And I'm, I'm kind of surprised, excuse me, that doesn't come through in beers that are go through a similar process. I also wonder, and I've been questioning, I've done a number of barrel-aged beers now, and I wonder if you were to take virgin charred American oak barrels and aged beer in it, what it would taste like. I wonder if just that little bit of bourbon is what really flavors this beer, or if the barrel itself would lend some sort of additional flavors to the beer. So back to the ranking. I, I was between a four and a four and a quarter. Man, this, I, I wish... The smell is more complex than the taste. I wish a little more of that complexity worked its way into the flavor. I'm going to go four and a quarter based on a number of things. Um, taste. Um, also based on the fact that Lagunitas was willing to go to the lengths of getting Willet barrels. I mean, it could just be all marketing. I could, they could be some junk $2 bourbon barrels and I wouldn't know the difference because I don't think that translates through to the beer. But I do think, but it's still, the, but, but, but the flavor and the complexities and the smells are all there to, to, to give it a four and a quarter. Man, that's good. I've got so much stuff in the fridge to drink. I may have to do another one right after this. And I'm not quite sure which one I should do. Um, you should check out the Beer Virtually Instagram page. It's just uh, Beer Virtually. You'll find it. And uh, I'll post pictures of new purchases from time to time. And um, maybe you guys can vote on which beer of them. And stuff like that. So check that out. And uh, also check out our Facebook page. Facebook.com forward slash beer virtually. And until next time, cheers.